Keepling's goal is to make people and the people we serve, many that are in this room today, um, as independent as possible. And um, it's uh, what a better time to do it, as I had said. And this is uh, from my math. Uh, on Thursday will be this country's 237th Independence Day celebration. So, thank you. And sticking with that 4th of July theme, uh, before Rhonda comes up here and runs most of the program, uh, we're gonna have some of our uh, participants uh, sing God Bless America. So let's get that underway. location. We have such diverse people here, diverse talents, strengths, interests. If everybody shares here and we all work together and I think that group just proved that. Um, the programs that are here in this uh, building relocated from other areas in Erie County. Uh, we were looking for a single location to share, as I said, to share resources, to be together, to create some efficiencies, and we were able to find, we are proud supporters of the city of Buffalo. But today we're here to celebrate a wonderfully eclectic group of programs and services that are happy to call 2635 Delaware Avenue home. From a semi-retirement program that provides a stimulating environment for seniors, to an adult daycare program that offers respite and peace of mind to caregivers, to a premier fine arts program and studio, to an after school program, to a day program providing adults a chance to explore career and vo volunteer opportunities, <coughs> to a senior case management program that provided outreach and support to 800 seniors in 2012, and finally to an agency that provides support and advocacy to individuals with brain injuries and other disabilities, as well as support to Western New York veterans. The room is a big art room bigger than the one we had before. And everything that I've learned throughout the years is a real good team. We have teamwork. That's what we need, is teamwork. See veterans and others with brain injuries and seniors and young people with developmental disabilities all coming together to a friendly, inviting place and getting help with their life's journey. Oh, that's good. That's diversity and that's community. I see collaboration between organizations so more people get served and we can afford to give them more choices in the services that they get. I also see access and um, the often un incomprehensible side of getting publicly, fun publicly funded help made easy to understand and, and easy to use for people who need the service. People Inc. has been promoting independence and the participants of these programs are living independently and that's the answer and I don't see that as a problem I see that as a great opportunity and that opportunity is being made available because of partners like People Inc. so I congratulate you today and we look forward to working with you into the future I have been proud to be supportive of everything People Inc. has asked because we know there's quality behind that work and it's going to get done. And so for all of our partners that are partnering here, I couldn't be more pleased to join in on the celebration. That's what government is for. If we can't be out here to advocate and help you, then there's something wrong. Uh, so congratulations to you. The new epicenter of this community's health of other people good. is this location that we all stand on right here today. This is really a magnificent opportunity for all of us to really grab a hold of each other, 
to push each other forward together. And I know, as you know already, that nobody will do it better than people in corporate. And of all the 4th of July Independence Day celebrations that I've had, I'm going to remember this one that started right here today the most. Because this reminds us, this event reminds us of something which, uh, at the time of the American Revolution, there was a political philosopher named John Locke. No, Senator, I did not know John Locke. Okay? <laughs> but he talked about the social compact, the social contract, in which we all live together and we all agree to look after each other and abide by certain rules and look after those who are in need. And that's what I am reminded of on this Independence Day. I've got my arm around the bird.